I wouldn't say he's Fat Ryan, but he's not Jack Ryan. Emily Blunt was ready to throw some punches at John Krasinski for Stephen Colbert's sake. Emily Blunt and John Krasinski have a beautiful connection, and despite being married for nearly 15 years, they are still madly in love with one other. For nearly two decades, the couple has worked to achieve their relationship goals. From red carpets to TV interviews, they've always praised each other as musicians and people. Blunt and Krasinski also have a great sense of humor and have never been afraid to pull each other's legs in public. They prove that the key to a happy marriage is the ability to laugh within at each other, as Blunt demonstrated on Stephen Colbert's show. Emily Blunt made a visit on Stephen Colbert's show, The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, earlier this year, during which she criticized John Krasinski. They discussed a range of topics, and at one point, he mentioned how her spouse had become a regular on the show. The host then showed Blunt a shot of him in Krasinski arm wrestling. When Colbert asked Blunt for a strategy to defeat him, the actress responded hilariously, I think you're in luck because he has been directing ceaselessly. He hasn't had time to work out, and his arms are like noodles, she explained. When Colbert suggested that Krasinski was no longer like Jack Ryan, Blunt responded with a sneaky smirk, I wouldn't say he's Fat Ryan, but he's not Jacked Ryan. John Krasinski plays the eponymous character in the political thriller series Jack Ryan, which is based on Tom Clancy's characters. The actor has regularly provided amazing performances during the show's four seasons. However, he has since focused his efforts on direction and has created hits like A Quiet Place and its accompanying sequel, featuring Blunt. Blunt has been riding a tide of success since her last picture, Oppenheimer. Christopher Nolan directed the film, which starred the actress as Kitty Oppenheimer, the wife of J. Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb. The film went on to win seven Oscars in various categories, with Blunt being nominated for Best Supporting Actress. The Girl on the Train actress has received adulation from both fans and co-workers. Unsurprisingly, John Krasinski has been gushing over her at previous award presentations, raising the bar for couples, and Blunt has the highest regard for him. Emily Blunt and John Krasinski have a beautiful relationship. Krasinski and Blunt complement each other perfectly. Before they started dating in 2008, the office actor was a big fan of the actress. Krasinski proposed in 2009, and she accepted. During an interview with Access Hollywood, Krasinski described how the proposal occurred. She answered yes. It was quite casual. I was quite nervous. She cried after I sobbed, and we cried, and then everyone else cried, he explained. The pair married in 2010 at George Clooney's villa near Lake Como in Italy. They have been going strong ever since, and they now have two lovely daughters together. In a world of rapid proposals and even quicker breakups, Emily Blunt and John Krasinski are raising the standard. The actress will appear in The Fall Guy very soon.